Next on the shields who are taking advantage of Toriyama's passing are those who all of a sudden want to remember all the good times they had with him, because they had forgotten him apparently and remembered he exists only after he is dead. If not that, then to mention how much he meant to them, because they grew up together, they went on so many trips together, and they drew so many popular manga together, oh wait! None of that are true because they know shit about Toriyama. They never met him, they have no idea how he was like, and the only thing they ever liked about him was Dragon Ball. They have no memories of him and he means nothing to them because the only memories they have is of Dragon Ball, and the only thing that matters to them is Dragon Ball. But they can't admit it because that would make it seem like they only care about consuming products and being excited for more products. Also, why would they do something normal such as setting apart the author from his work? No way, they are the same thing. And why would they consider a person they only read his work being any different from the people they meet on a daily basis and who can be considered actual friends and family? Come on, there is no difference. Parasocial relationships are the same thing as actual relationships. It's why everything that happens in One Piece is because Oda made it, it's not because it makes sense in story. Oda made a new revelation, Oda confirms this theory, Oda was inspired by this tale. It's the same thing with Toriyama, it's not Dragon Ball the only thing they like, it's Toriyama. Now excuse me as I pay $100 on OnlyFans so my actual wife who loves only me will spread her butt cheeks only for me because she's my actual wife and I know everything about her because I'm following her on Instagram. The sad thing is that I said the exact same things about Miura, but very few of you understand what I meant despite how obvious it is that none of you know these people. You only know the works they made, and even then you only give a shit if you like those works. A few years back when Reiji Matsumoto died, I saw almost no videos about him, despite having made several classic anime. There was nobody who grew up with him, or went to trips together, or had him as a roommate in the same college. Nobody said that because nobody cares anymore about Space Battleship Yamato or Captain Harlock which were a big deal during the 70s and the 80s. That's all there was to it. They are not popular anymore so nobody remembers Matsumoto. You know as much about Toriyama as you know about Matsumoto, but for some reason you only have fond memories about the first guy. That's why anyone who makes videos about a famous deceased mangaka is a big hypocrite. They just like Dragon Ball, which is something you can rewatch whenever you feel like it, and there is going to be a lot more Dragon Ball in the future. It didn't die, nobody took it away from you, and nobody made you forget all about it just because the creator died. Everything that I love is ending, you're taking it all from me. It's all one big hypocrisy because you don't want to admit you just like a product and know nothing about the creator. The only thing you are sad about is a brand owned by a multi-million company Company, changing ownership of the copyrights. That's all there is to it, and that's all you know about the actual people involved. Deal with it. You really want to take it all from me, huh? Just everything. Hopefully, there's a spin-off or a sequel or something.